Hey, Zach Northway here from Fibo Supply. I'm going to show you guys how to put together our model engine kit we made for 2022. These are little uh, air powered the engines, great for kids or 4 H projects, the grandkids, uh, you name it. So let's get started here. Here I've assembled everything I need to uh, put the kit together. A couple of pair of pliers will be handy, a couple of Allen wrenches uh, according to the size of the screws in the kit. I got a little bit of blue uh, Loctite here. And I like to get this ready ahead of time, just stick a little bit in an old cap from a water bottle, and then just a little bit of like uh, machine oil or WD-40 or whatever for uh, lubrication when it's all done. So to put the uh, engine together, you'll use two of these screws here. They're Allen head socket head cap screws. And I'm gonna put a dab of Loctite on them, just to dip it in there. It doesn't take very much like that. And then they'll go through the base, if you look here. I'm gonna go up through the base and then into here. And this is offset like so. So it'll end up like this when it's done. So now I'm gonna put both those screws in and tighten that up. Okay, here I have the uh, block mounted to the base. The next thing I'm gonna do is install the flywheel here onto this. These come pre-assembled with the pins already in them. You just simply slide this through here. It's a good idea to check your block for any burrs. Take a wire wheel and polish it a little bit or fine sandpaper and clean the burrs off. Then there's this little lock collar here. Simply goes on my crankshaft like this and we'll tighten that down. Now I'm going to assemble the connecting rod, and it goes together in this order. The piston goes on this end, or one end of the rod, doesn't matter, either end. And then the bushing goes on, and then the other end of the connecting rod. So I'm going to put a dab of Loctite on here, and screw it into the piston here, like so. Wipe the excess Loctite off, you don't want to make your engine get stuck. Slide the bushing on here. And you'll notice one side of the bushing is flat and the other is tapered. The taper should go towards the piston. And then put this end of the connecting rod on after you put on a little dab of Loctite. And simply screw that down. Again, wipe the excess Loctite off. And then here you can take a pair of pliers, hold the connecting rod in and very gently grab the piston and give it just a little tweak tight but don't tighten too much on the piston here you don't want to score that up if you do just polish it back smooth and you'll be fine so now I have that tightened up and we can slide it into the block like this or into the cylinder I suppose and here you're going to want to put a little dab of Loctite on this retainer as well A little bit of Loctite on there and screw this together. And just screw it down until it's flush like that, flush with the end of the cylinder. And then again, you know, wipe your extra Loctite off of there. Okay, now you have your cylinder assembled. next thing we're going to do is put the cylinder onto the engine block. That's accomplished with this little screw here. Again, a little dab of Loctite because this is going to be moving. We don't want it to come loose. And we, pre we pass the screw through the spring like so. And then through the back of the block here until it protrudes a little bit. Goes in this hole. Sticks out over here. And then put the cylinder on. You're going to need to get the connecting rod on the wrist pin uh, or down there on the crankshaft and assemble it like this and then put the screw in here now, you need to tighten this up but it's got to remain slightly loose or the engine won't be able to spin freely and you can test it and you see I have it ever so slightly too tight I'll back it off slightly and test spin it again there you have it. Now it's spinning freely like it should. 
The next step will be to install the two plugs up here in the top. These are simply very tiny little set screws like this. Put a dab of Loctite on them. Again, a little bit is more than plenty. And screw them both in. They will not bottom out. Just screw them in until they're flush and that's all they need to be. They're just to close off the hole that was drilled for machining purposes. Put the other screw in and we'll be good to go. <laughs> Once the screws are in, again, just wipe the extra Loctite off the top. Give that a couple minutes to set up before you try to run it. This is the air cock, which is the throttle for your engine. In the assembly process, they end up with a tiny bit of grease on the inside, and the grease is actually sticky, which will slow your engine down from running correctly. I recommend before you install this in the engine to just blow it out with an air hose. Put your air hose here, give it a blast of air, it'll shoot the little tiny little dot of grease out the end of it, and you'll be good to go. Just simply install it in the end like so and basically just hand or finger tight is uh, more than enough install it so the lever is up top like this and then you can easily regulate the speed this will be in the off position there now you have an assembled engine install your air hose fitting in here and you're good to go so here we're just going to install our air hose fitting right in the end like so and then we can hook up our air hose they don't take a lot of pressure and then you can turn the engine on with the valve and then run it. Okay, a couple of things to note. If the engine doesn't want to run, there's a few things you can do. Probably the biggest reason for these not running well is this screw that tightens the cylinder onto the block being over tightened. So put Loctite on it. If you don't, it'll vibrate loose. Put the Loctite on it, run it in, and then back it up a little bit. The spring will hold it to the surface so the screw can remain slightly loose. And you can fiddle around with the adjustment of that when you first put it together and try to run it. And you can back it up or tighten it down just a little bit going back and forth, you know, in and out a little bit and find the sweet spot where it makes it run the best. Otherwise, keep it oiled and they will run for a long time. Also, the more they run, they tend to wear in and run better. So put some time on it, run it, and you'll get it to run nice and smooth and have a lot of enjoyment out of it. Thanks.